Hi, my name is Keisha Robertske and I am co-owner of Blue Tongue Markets located in Bloody Bay, Tobago. We created this business place because there are no fresh produce markets in the area and Scarborough is located an hour away from Bloody Bay. Hi, I'm Jalisa George, owner of Godsend Coconut Oil, an agro-processing business that taps into the traditional process of making coconut oil. Hi, my name is Jermaine Phillip. My business is Green Thumb Gardens, and Green Thumb Gardens designs, installs, and maintains kitchen gardens and food production systems in any space whatsoever. Hi everyone, my name is Renee Andrews, and I'm the proud owner of Sovete. Sovete is an online delivery service for frozen desserts. We specialize in gourmet ice cream, sorbets, and much more. My name is Devon Samlal Singh and my business is Research and Education for Agricultural Development or Reed Community, which is a startup non-profit. Hi, my name is Oje Alexander. I'm the founder and managing director at Happy Family Products. At Happy Family, we produce kale, basil, microgreens, Swiss chard and baby greens. We learn so many things. <laughs> This program taught me about networking and partnering with other persons. We also dive into strategic planning and branding our business and getting our brand out there that persons can be able to see. Previously, we started off with how to do a business canvas model, which is something I never did before. This program not only just takes your business to another step, but it actually involves you holistically as a person and you need that to have a successful business. This program gives you a wealth of knowledge, it gives you a wealth of experience, it gives you a wealth of networks. It helps you to think differently as an agripreneur. What we got was a lot of training, especially from the entrepreneurial side, on how to structure your business. Uh, a big part of it was dealing with financials and moving forward and really how to grow your business from, from start to a future projection. Initially, I never connected my business to being a part of the agri agricultural chain, the value chain. So that was an eye-opener for me. And in terms of the information, I love the fact that it wasn't just local information that we were exposed to. We were exposed to persons in the regional market, persons in the international market. Um, and really, overall, it was just very informative. Um, for me personally, it would have pushed me to be more on social media because I've had this love-hate relationship with social media for the longest while. It showed us that we also need that family support to back us with our business because without a team we would be nothing. The number one thing I gained was confidence. At the start I wasn't all that confident in my business and myself which was actually a really important key in actually being a successful entrepreneur. So I love the fact that I gained confidence in my business and collaborating with other local entrepreneurs to really show that small businesses do have an impact in our society. I would highly recommend it to young persons interested in joining the program because a lot of us think that we're alone and we don't know what we could do. But there are lots of us out there who think the same way. But there are, lots, there are also a lot of us out there who are in the same position and they're also willing to help and there are also persons who are willing to teach. For example, YFAM with this amazing program.